This is the Whirlpool WTW4955HW top load high efficiency washer. Uh, this is a 3.8 cubic foot capacity washer with a two way action agitator uh, and a stainless steel drum. Uh, this two way action agitator means that the agitator turns one way while the wash tub turns the other. It's going to allow for a better cleaning action. Uh, this kind of agitator is actually different from, say, this style, your dual action agitator, as your clothes actually make this turn while the tub turns the opposite way. And this one is actually motorized, so while your tub's turning one way, the agitator turns the other. Now, Whirlpool lists this as a 4.4 cubic foot capacity on their website which may be a little bit misleading as this is the IEC measurement. IEC used to be the industry standard for washer capacities, but now in the U.S. the industry standard is DOE. Uh, most top load washers in the U.S. use the DOE measurement, which is a smaller number and is, in my opinion, more true to the actual usable space. So you need to be sure that when you're shopping for a washer that you take note of the measurement method that they are claiming. Um, when you open this thing up, you will you'll get your drain hose, and just like with all washers, you will not get the two fill hoses. You'll have to buy those separately or use the old ones. Typically recommended if they're you know any if five, six years or older, just go ahead and replace them. They're cheap, but it could save you some trouble with leaking in the future. You'll get some nice detergent pods here included inside, and your instruction manual. Uh, now that the measurements are out of the way. Um, that, that this is a 3.8 cubic foot capacity you should be able to fit a queen size comforter in it. Typically in a washer this size you can fit around 15 to 16 pounds of clothes. Um, as an example a child's outfit, like their full outfit, would be around 2 to 3 pounds while an adult's full outfit will be 3 to 5 pounds. So um, it should be big enough for 2 to 3 people any more than that and you may be washing more loads more frequently than you would like to. Uh, your water selection, water level selection knob here. You've got auto sensing and deep water wash. Now if you choose auto sensing, this washer is just going to sense the load and add the appropriate amount of water that it thinks it needs to add. Uh, it will weigh them once you hit start and agitate very slowly, kind of weigh in the clothes. If you choose deep water wash, um, it's going to it's going to add one load size larger than, than what you have selected. So, for example, if you select a deep water fill and the water sense, washer sensed that there was a medium sized load in there, then the washer will add the amount of water that it would, would have added to, had it sensed a large load. Uh, you can also expect the cycle to run for a longer time when deep fill is selected due to the increased time needed to fill the washer. You've got a soil selection knob here as well. Um, this is going to allow for you to choose a level of agitation that you'd like. So for heavily soiled clothes, you'd choose a heavy uh, on a large or heavily soiled load. And maybe for light loads or delicates, you might pick extra light or light and so on and so forth. Uh, there is also, um, let's see, where there's a quick wash right here. Uh, the quick wash cycle is going to allow you to wash a small load in around 30 minutes. It achieves this by increasing the spin speed during the spin cycle which will also extract more water from the clothes and as a result decrease the amount of time required to dry them in your dryer. Now it's going to save you money in the long run because it's not going to cost as much money to run a washer for five minutes as it does to, to run a dryer for five minutes just due to the 120 versus 240 volt electricity. Uh, you wouldn't want to use this quick wash cycle with a large load though because the increased spin speed will have a really good chance of throwing the washer out of balance. You've also got a a bulky or sheet cycle here. Uh, this is going to put more water into the tub for washing large loads or bulky items such as your comforters and things like that. Um, this model also has the extra rinse option which is going to help with getting out any residual detergents and should always be used when you're using fabric softener in the washer. This is your fabric softener dispenser so you'll put your fabric softener in here. If you use this auto with extra rinse or the deep water rinse or deep water with extra rinse. Any of those cycles you need to use with a little white line here if you're using fabric softener. Um, 
again with the deep water rinse it's going to do just the same as a deep water wash it will add one load size larger water for the rinse cycle than what it sensed when you first started the washer uh, all your whirlpool washers are designed engineered and assembled in the u.s uh, it may be important to some may, maybe not to others but it is a u.s engineered product um, good stuff